so 20, 2012. 24. No, 2012. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. 12, 14, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Well, we started development, and the first product went on sale in 2014. 14. Yeah. Uh -huh. So, so it's, so it's not like like in the in the dark ages, really. It's like no. it's 10 years ago, but still, if you look at how shipment and containers and to keep track of fresh produce was done then and it's still it's still a problem right and it's here, a major problem and, and then and then it's quite interesting like okay so there are, I, I have background stories on how Maersk and Ericsson was trying to solve some of this stuff with very mm. very expensive approaches and your idea with most I want something that looks like an ice hockey puck that someone who has no experience one can, button one button can throw into the container yeah. you know d on the docks yeah and and that should work yes and that, that, that's the bodging then, that it's like, when you look under the hood, this is nothing new. No. It's no. like, okay, I need, I need this piece of, of, of an old mobile <laughs> Nokia phone. Yeah. I need some sensors. Mm. I need an antenna. I need and a cloud, cloud environment. I need to a collect cloud data. environment to collect yeah. data, and I need some analytics on it. Yeah. Well, not analytics yet. At that stage, analytics was... But uh, descriptive. Descriptive. Visual, uh, visualizations. Let's say alarms. Alarms, alarms and visualizations. Yeah. And, and, and so we built the, the interface in 2012. I mean, and there, you know, you, you outsource tasks to great people. So there in the most team, there were some really great people and they built this cloud solution. And then all of a sudden we realized that we've got so much data. <laughs> it's like, whoa. Um, and I actually got a phone call from a customer that said to me, your device is not working. And I said, why? And they said, well, the shipping company is reporting that the ship's on its route to Rotterdam, but your device is telling me that it's still on the Panama Channel. Um, it's telling, and I said, well, data doesn't generally lie, so let's just read the data. And, uh, and we read it, and we actually found out... I think out data can lie, by the way. But you know, okay. It can lie. I mean, uh, but, but when it's so specifically niched, you know, and we actually went and, and, and realized that the, the, because of the drought, in the Panama Channel was too shallow for heavy ships. So what the ships do is they lift containers off and just put them on and the ship goes on, but the container stays behind, you know, and all of a sudden um, we found out that, you no, know, but the, sh the shipping company just said, yeah, the ship's on its way, but the container wasn't on the ship anymore, you know. Oh, that, wow. that type of information, and when you th if you think what is the most expensive perishable that gets shipped, that's blueberries, I guess, but blueberries mostly get shipped via airplanes, but then there's avocados. One container of avocado... I mean, it's a lot of money. It is a bucket load of money. And if that container uh, uh, um, gets stuck somewhere, somebody starts losing money big time, you know. And